There were three big fears that I had when I started a YouTube channel. And today we're just going for a drive. I've got my coffee right here and I'm gonna just openly talk about them. And hopefully this will kind of encourage you to kind of get over those fears that I had uh, when I started YouTube. So the third one I will say is probably the biggest one that I think everybody struggles with. And uh, so you'll, you'll wanna make sure that you stick around for that one. So the first fear that I had when starting YouTube was basically uh, not having the the right equipment. Uh, I know I've mentioned this a lot in, a, in, in several different videos, but this is like the biggest one that really causes like that crippling anxiety or the uh, like the misconception that you like you need the best gear to get started. Some of the biggest YouTubers that I have met personally, um, whether they're solo creators or even large big teams uh, that are like dialed in, like they've got editors, they've got actors, I would say, or like main characters on their channel. I have met a few uh, channels like that where we've rolled up on set with them to maybe do a collaboration like through my work. And you know, we always roll up with like our big cameras and yeah, we have the budgets for like the $5,000, $10,000 cameras, all the right audio, everything that you can imagine that you need, like lighting, um, reflectors, tripods, all this stuff. I can't tell you though, how many times we've rolled up and these people who have 400,000 subscribers, 800,000 subscribers, even over a million, uh, that are just running around with like $350 GoPros. Sure, they have several of them, but that's because they have several different videographers or they want different angles. But when you really think about, um, you know, what, what, what it is that they're doing is they're putting like a $350 device in their hand and they're recording it and they're relying more so on story, value, and uh, maybe teaching you something in those videos. And, and that's the biggest mistake that people make is oftentimes they'll run out and they'll buy the best gear. And you know, I, I, I say oftentimes people will do it. I did this, um, I'm guilty of it. Oftentimes we think that we need all this gear and we need this awesome studio and this awesome backdrop to get started when in reality, all you really need is maybe a GoPro or not even that. I mean, there's so many channels right now in today's day and age where people are doing what I'm doing, where they're just recording on a cell phone, but they're, you know, but the difference is, is that they're actually giving you uh, value and they're teaching you something and uh, maybe they're, you know, mixing stories in there. So before you get started and, and before you run out and buy all the best gear, you know, the best cameras, the lenses, the lighting, everything, you should probably take some time in learning the aspects of YouTube, which is, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's two styles of videos. There's entertainment and there's education. You know, the entertainment categories, those are gonna be like the bigger videos, like the Mr. Beast videos where he's, you know, driving a, a train off into like this big ditch or he's having like this huge uh, competition with like hundreds of people competing for a million dollars. That's entertainment, but like a lot of us don't have the resources or the money to make videos like that. So the next best thing and the biggest contender with entertainment is education. Think about like what you know, what you can teach people, what experiences you have, uh, what separates you as an individual, as a creator, as a person, the knowledge that you have in here uh, where you can educate people because that's really what YouTube is. It's entertainment and education or entertainment or education. So just know that you don't need the best gear to get started. Uh, every single cell phone, if it's a smartphone, should have a camera. The audio should be pretty dang good. Uh, the capacity on your phone right now uh, is probably, I wouldn't even say probably, it's plenty of space to go and produce videos that are eight minutes long, 30 minutes long, an hour long, and yeah, just don't think that you need the best gear. I'm gonna just make a big, I'm gonna admit something that I'm actually pretty embarrassed about. When I wanted to start YouTube, I ran out and bought all the best gear. 
and remember I own a business, right? Like I'm not super wealthy or anything, but I ran a business and all the money that I had, I reinvested and bought probably like $37,000 of camera gear because I thought that I needed, you know, this lens for talking head and then I'm gonna need a vlogging lens and then I need this other camera and I should have two cameras and all. But look at me now, I'm literally recording a YouTube video on my freaking phone. This is something that I could have done and gotten started uh, probably even three or four years ago. <laughs> and, and I wasted all that time thinking that I needed the best gear. So don't let it cripple you, don't let it stop you from starting. I'm not kidding, there are so many freaking YouTubers out there that are using their cell phone or a GoPro and uh, they are having massive insane amounts of success. Okay, fear number two. Um, when I started, I really didn't know what I had to offer and I didn't know what my niche was and that's like the biggest hang up that a lot of people run into before they start YouTube is you know, they, they're always like, oh, well, you know, what should my channel be about? And then they sit there and they kind of overthink things and they really don't get started because they're just sitting around just thinking that they need like the biggest, greatest, latest uh, video idea to catch some traction. But you have to realize that YouTube has like millions of millions of people. Uh, so there's a huge audience out there that probably have the same interests or maybe had the same experiences that you had and you're going to find your audience. So like rather than trying to tailor a niche that is going to call the masses and attract every single person out there, you don't have to do that. Like you, you, you can really hone in on what it is that you enjoy and what it is that you actually know and what you actually want to talk about because even if you just get a fraction of those viewers, uh, or what's the, what's the it's, it's like a, a percentage of viewers, or I don't know what the word is, it's, it's, it's up here, I've lost it, but even if you get a small slice of the pie of all of the YouTube viewers out there, you're gonna still produce a big channel and you're still going to uh, attract an audience that could put money in your pocket from simply doing a YouTube channel that you actually love to do. When I first started, I was trying to attract everybody and my niche was just all over the place. And what I really had to do and what I really had to come to terms with is, Andy, like, what is it that you know? Like, what is it that you can actually offer to people uh, where you can actually speak to, where you have experience, where you know what you're doing and people will trust that you are like this established expert. Well, what I know is photography, videography, content creation, running a YouTube channel. And, and yeah, you know, if you, if you come back and you think, okay, well, you just listed off four things, those things are still kind of one and the same. You know what I mean? Like it's all around camera work and being creative and trying to find ways to like monetize uh, your creativeness. So that is like my condensed niche. But I remember like I've mentioned in other videos, uh, when I first started, I wanted to be like this adventurer and I wanted to go to all these places and I was gonna like set up camp and camp with my dog and then I wasn't gonna even talk about cameras. I was just gonna sit there and hope that me being just at a cool place was enough, but it literally took like me maybe two times going out in the middle of the woods and being freaked out and just knowing that uh, a, this is something like, it's not sustainable. I can't come out and go camping like every single day or every single weekend. Um, B, I'm like afraid out here, you know, there's like animals and I believe in aliens and stuff. So I'm just like, screw that. I don't wanna like sleep overnight. And, and C, um, it, it just really wasn't that enjoyable to me. Like I'm a very social person. And um, if I was gonna commit to being this like adventurer kind of overlander going to the woods and the mountains and being alone I'm just like ah, it's not really like my cup of tea so that was the mistake that I made uh, was just trying to appeal to everybody but I really had to kind of sit back and really sit with myself and be honest with myself and say hey dude what is it that you actually know like what are you actually good at I'm good at educating people I like to think that I'm very sociable and 
I've got like some pretty good knowledge to give. And you know what? I do love seeing people win. And so if I can have a channel where we talk about cameras and content creation and maybe being a YouTuber and helping you get ahead in life, then that's what I want. Like that's what I'm passionate about. So make sure that you're not just following uh, the views, make sure that you're not out there just sacrificing who you actually are, what you actually enjoy and wake up one day and you're like, dang, I don't even want to like, this isn't, you know, the, the life that I wanted. Could you imagine if in two years I just was camping and I grew this big audience and I'm like, dude, I don't even like being out here. So, so yeah, just make sure that uh, when you are trying to establish a niche, uh, really find your passion and what you enjoy and, and what you can actually uh, offer to the world. Um, I've talked to a lot of people who want to start a YouTube channel and they always make that mistake. They always make that mistake. Oh, well, what if I like made a channel uh, uh, about this and this and that? And I'm like, dude, do you even like to do that? Mm, well, not really, but that's going to get me a lot of views. Well, it's just, you know, YouTube is like a job. It's like, you know, it's, it's, I could, I could maybe quit my content marketing creating job and go work in an oil field and make all this money. But like, I know I would be so miserable and depressed and I would want to leave that job, uh, probably like a year or two in cause it sucks. If you work in an oil field, no offense. Uh, I think that's actually a pretty sick job. Okay. All right. So yeah, make sure you, you identify your actual passion and talk about what you know. There are so many channels out there where people are just like talking about life and they're just, you know, they're talking about like cooking because they enjoy cooking or they're talking about relationships or they're talking about, I don't know, um, how to, I don't know, how, how to like sew sweaters and stuff. And they have a big audience and they're making thousands of dollars per month doing what they love. So that's number two. Okay. Number three the biggest one, the most important one, is you have to just drop your pride and drop your ego. You cannot care about what people say about you, what people think about you, and you, you really have to like live with that. And you have to realize that the criticism is going to come from everywhere and anyone and it's going to come even from people who uh you it's like it, it comes from like the places you least expect honestly um and it's always just like little comments that you could take so wrong and so out of context and you're like dang dude like that was hurtful like why would somebody that close to me say something like this like I had, you know, my ex-girlfriend, bless her heart, uh, I don't hate her, nothing like it, I, I really don't. Uh, she's an amazing individual, but I remember, like, as a joke, she was like, oh, your stupid YouTube channel, blah, 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 like, mm, it's, like it's, it's stupid. I'm like, excuse me? Like, that was really hurtful, right? Like, that, ugh, like, dug deep, and we cleared it up, and, like, later, you know, she said she was joking, and I believe her. But in the moment, it, it really hurt. Another one was like my mom. I, I remember my mom, uh, she sent me a text message and she's like, oh uh, yeah, I see you like talking on the videos. It's kind of like silly, it's kind of weird, yada, yada, yada. And maybe she was just trying to open up the conversation, but I remember that was like another one. I was like, ouch, dude, like, ow, my own mom, right? Uh, but again, like she was just trying to open up the conversation and I know I know for a fact, like my mom is like super proud of me and uh, she loves me to death. Like she, she tells me every chance that she gets. There are friends, uh, there are coworkers, there are people who you uh, will barely have any relationship with. It's gonna happen. They're gonna say something about your online presence, your social media presence, uh, your YouTube presence. You just have to let that stuff kind of roll off your shoulder but in the beginning, uh, I think it's natural to be a little on the defense. And you know, it's not it, it, like YouTube, YouTube is so different because everybody has Instagram, everybody has Twitter, everybody has TikTok, but YouTube is levels of he uh, ahead of uh, content creation because you really have to be committed and devoted to it, right? 
this is something that not everybody is doing. This is something that not everyone understands. Uh, YouTube is a discipline. YouTube is a skill. And that is, it's, it's like with everything in life. When you tell somebody that you have a big goal or a big dream, their natural instinct is to try and maybe protect you. And that protection comes out in the form of like trying to discourage you and trying to, you know, save you from the disappointment. And so in the beginning, a lot of people aren't going to believe in you. It's not that they're being mean to you or it's not that they are trying to, you know, really hurt your feelings. It's they're, they're trying to protect you, right? It's like, um, it, it's like if you, you know, if you have this dream of going to like this big university or college and you tell your friends and your family, they're like, ooh, I don't know. Uh, <sighs> you know, a lot of people don't get in that, right? But when you finally do, everyone celebrates you. It's the same thing with YouTube. Don't be afraid to tell people your dreams. Don't be afraid to peop uh, tell people your goals and your aspirations. I'm a big believer that whatever you put out into the universe and whatever you throw out there and um, as confidently as you can say it, I feel like the universe is going to uh, pay it back to you and it's going to you know put it in your lap. In the beginning, like I said, I, you know, I really cared about what people thought. I really cared about what people would have to say. Um, I was so scared to put content online because I literally just pictured what everybody was going to say, uh, including, you know, the people closest to me, my family, my friends, even the people who hate me, right? Like if you have haters out there, uh, what, what easy, like what easier material to give them than uh, for them to watch a video where you're maybe being vulnerable and, you know, they can talk crap about you, right? So you cannot care about what people think and you have to own it. And it really is like, it's a vision, it's a lifestyle, it's a dream. Every single opportunity that I get now when I'm talking to, you know, new new people or new coworkers, whatever it is, uh, I'm proud of it now. I don't try to keep it hidden. Uh, yesterday I went to go get a coffee. The girl saw my camera and she's like, Oh, what are you doing? I'm like, Oh, I'm a YouTuber. I'm actually uh, out here filming, uh, some content. I'm doing some street photography. I'm doing a review on a camera lens that a company sent me. And she was like, wow, that's like so cool. And I go, yeah, I know. Right. Like, uh, I just got monetized. I'm starting to make money. Like there's traction. Um, so now it's something that I'm very, very proud of, but just know that in the beginning, um, you might have some encounters or you might have some comments made uh, to you that, you know, it's, it's like the dumbest thing in the world and that like YouTube is dead and there's no space for you and, oh man, it's really competitive and, oh, are you sure you wanna do this? Yeah, hell yeah, I wanna do it. So uh, that's, you know, biggest number, biggest fear number three is uh, Stop overthinking and, and literally stop think uh, stop caring and, and thinking about what people are going to say. No one cares, dude. Like, no one freaking cares. We are these little people on this floating rock. And, uh, you know, there's this really cool analogy or this there's this cool story. Um, I, I can't remember the exact details. Uh, and I don't know where I heard the story. But our perception of ourselves and how we view ourselves, we think that like we are like the main character. We think that uh, every single thing that we do or say that it's like under a microscope. We care so much about our appearance and, and like what we're wearing and you know the judgment that might come from that. There's this story where, um, I don't know if it was like a, a psychologist, it was like some sort of experiment, but they they challenged these people to wear like this like ridiculous like ass shirt. like picture like uh it wasn't this but like picture like dan marino from baywatch like on a dolphin with like a rainbow behind him and it's like just wavy dreamy hair like the, just picture the dumbest t-shirt what this person did is they challenged like three people to go to this big event where there were you know hundreds of people and uh it was like i think it was formal but they said hey just wear this t-shirt and uh the experiment was would people actually care or, uh, you know, would, 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 would people make you feel bad about like your appearance? And what happened was they, they go in 
and they socialize for a little bit. People say something, just, oh, ha, 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 whatever, like your, your t-shirt's silly. And then that was it. And they just got over it. Or, or some people didn't even point it out. Some people didn't even care. So that's number three. Like I said before, drop your pride, drop your ego. No one freaking cares. No one really cares that much where you should be nervous about what other people are going to think. And remember, when things start to get good, when your subscriber count starts to whoop, and when you start to collect the money, right, from YouTube, that's when people will celebrate you. And that's when people will start to believe in you. And that's when people will start to say, wow, dude, like, oh man, I can't believe you're doing this. This is so freaking cool. Like, good for you, dude. Like, what? You made how much? Oh my gosh. So, I hope this is an encouraging message. Uh, those were the scary things uh, when I first started YouTube. And honestly, uh, it, it's one of the best things that I've ever done for myself. I just wish I would have done it sooner. I wish I would have just gone over that fear and just like started the videos and started posting. So whoever you are, no matter where you are, just get started. You're gonna be so much happier. Uh, you're going to be fulfilled and um, the faster you can get onto this like crazy little ride that YouTube is, um, the faster you're going to come out on the other side where you're super confident and, and super happy. So uh, that's it. My name is Andy Munoz. I am a content creator. I'm a photographer, videographer, but professionally I work on a larger YouTube channel and I'm obviously trying to grow the small one. So if you uh, enjoy cameras and content creating and, and like YouTube tips every now and then, um, subscribe, make sure you like the video, drop me a comment. Uh, what kind of channel are you looking to start? Uh, when are you going to post your first video? Let me know. I actually, I love these comments because uh, I will go watch your videos and I'll comment on them and I'll like subscribe to your channel. Uh, if you ever want some advice, uh, you can reach out to me on my social media platforms. That's Andy X Munoz. I'm the most active on Instagram. Or if you want to send me an email, Andy at UtahFilmsCo.com. Uh, and look, if you're listen, if you're if you're listening, if you are looking for uh, more content on how to grow a YouTube channel or just check out, like just learn the benefits and and see why this is all worth it. I'm gonna put two videos right here for you. And uh, I hope you guys go check those out. Have an amazing weekend, have an amazing week, have an amazing month. Uh, the year is almost over and holy cow guys, life goes by so fast. So do something with it. See you guys on the next one.